Can you tell me a bit about um, the work you do here? Primarily we're a, a wildlife hospital. So we look after sick and injured wildlife. Okay. That could be um, anything from orphaned blind little mouse up to a large deer. Um, they okay. can be brought in by members of the public or RSPCA, uh, other local local councils, etc. Um, or we sometimes go out and rescue these creatures. If it's something that a member of the public can't handle, like a deer or a fox, then we'll go out and help rescue it. Okay. And what is um, what's your role here? My role, I'm the chairman of the charity. It was founded by me and my wife June. So my role is chairman of the charity, but it's varied. I can be going out rescuing an injured fox. I can be, like I'm doing now, repairing a fence. I can be um, going out helping raising funds for a centre, treating injured animals. It's a very, varied role. And um, what happens when the animals get brought into the centre? When they first come in, they're assessed as to what their injuries or illnesses are. Um, what's the best way to progress with that particular animal? The aim, obviously, is to get them better and release them back into the wild where possible. So they came in, they're assessed by either myself, June or our resident vet as to what's the best course of action for the animal. It could be that it may just need rest and rehabilitation. Yeah. It could be that uh, it needs ongoing treatment, it could mean surgery, x-rays, or in the worst scenario, if it's too badly injured, then it may have to be put to sleep. It's better than it's suffering in the wild. Yeah. Um, do you um, rehome any domestic animals as well? We don't get many domestic animals in. As I said, we are a wildlife um, centre. We do get some domestic animals when they're found wandering as strays or people have left them in cages outside the centre. Okay. Things like rabbits, okay. um, ducks, chickens, um, even some of the sheep have been come from homes where they get right. treated or um, unwanted. The, um, we don't rehome them. We like to feel as if, with like our rabbits, they've got a nice big large area to run around in. Uh, we wouldn't want to rehome them where they're going to be put in a hutch. Yeah. Our birds, like the budgies, are in a nice big aviary. We wouldn't let them go into someone who's got to put them in a cage. Okay, so yeah. any domestic animal we get in usually live their life out of the centre. Yeah, that's good. Um, also, can anyone volunteer here? Um, volunteering. Volunteering is obviously it's open to most people. Um, we have to be not selective but we like to interview volunteers as to to make sure they're happy with what they want to do we don't want to just say to somebody come along and volunteer if when they get there we found they've got allergies to animal fur or rabbit hair um, if they're scared of particular animals um, if they've got sort of medical problems which means they can't lift when they're cleaning out stables yeah. so as long as somebody is able to do a specific job Yes, it's open to everybody. Um, you know, we need volunteers. Yeah. Um, so as long as someone can come here, even if they just clean out the chicken. Yeah. Then yes. Yeah. Um, how do you fund the centre? The centre is mainly funded by visitors coming along to see the animals. The yeah. only we don't get no public funding, no funding from any other organisations, other than it's. Visitors coming to see the animals, people coming into the tea shop, or people making donations. Yeah. And that is the only way we survive. Yeah. Um, how many animals do you have at the moment here? At the moment, it depends upon, I mean, if we look at all the animals and birds, that's the birds are waiting to be released, or birds are permanent. Um, if we look at some of the little tiny hedgehog squirrels, if you look at all the animals around the centre, it comes out to nearly 200. Well, quite a lot. Um, also, one last question: um, Have you ever found like an animal that has like had some sort of problem with like rubbish, or like has consumed rubbish and has yes, been brought Yes, that into the is um, a thing which um, I suppose sometimes happens far too often. 
Um, and it's usually through what us as humans do that causes these animals to get in these horrible situations. We've had foxes where they've got some um, rubbish, um, they've gone down rubbish bags and they've got, say, the handle of a bucket stuck around their right. head. Yeah. We've had hedgehogs that have been caught up in um, plastic that you get around the top of four packs of drinks. Yeah. They've got their heads caught in there. Um, we've had um, geese that have got polythene bags wrapped around their leg, but have been swimming in the lake where a polythene bag has been chucked up, basically. Yeah. Um, people go to feed the ducks with bags of bread. The bag lays on the bank and blows into the river the lake yeah. and the birds get in caught. So it happens far too often. Um, litter is a horrible thing. Yeah. There's a lot of damage to the wildlife. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay.